Hey everyone, welcome back to Let There Be Ears. How are you? I get questions all the time about travel. As a deaf and hard of hearing, what do you need to prepare to go on an aircraft? What do you need to prepare when you go to a different country? Today, I am on a flight. We're about to hop on a flight to Denver and then over to Virginia uh, to the Dallas airport. It's my pleasure to share with you what I brought with me in my bag to hop on this journey over to the US, to the Middle East, and to Europe and back to North America. Make sure to subscribe to Let There Be Ears, like this video, share my videos, to follow along my deaf and hard of hearing journey. One item I always bring with me when I'm traveling, especially abroad or even just traveling in general on a road trip, is the phone clip. This phone clip is very important because not only can I make calls with it, but I'm able to stream music, podcast, I can talk on the phone or make calls, and it's really unique because there's a button on here that allows me to mute my surroundings. And being able to mute my surroundings allowed me to have an immersive experience with a call, with a podcast, or even with music. What I like to do is when I carry this or whenever I'm on the airplane or aircraft, I'll just little clip it on right here. Once I clip it on, I have it on, I activate Bluetooth after the aircraft has taken off. That's when I turn this on, activate it, play my music on my, on my phone, so I don't hear the constant humming and noises from aircrafts. Another item that I always bring with me when I'm traveling abroad or traveling in general is the mini clip. This mini clip allows me to connect directly to the phone or even to the entertainment system on board the aircraft. This has a 3.5 millimeter aux, allows you to connect right to the system. Previously, I could never, ever, ever enjoy entertainment or movies or music or even hear the games that are played through the on-screen onboard entertainment. And what I would do is just I'll get a headphone and dangle it right around my Baja. That's how far I went to try to listen and mimic the music and the sound of what's coming out of the entertainment system. This clip is very, very useful. It's got options for you not only to listen directly to the, the system, but also allows you to use it on, on a table or at a meeting. You just place it right into wherever you want to and sound can come directly to it. All you have to do is connect that to your Baja app. You can toggle the volumes from there. You can also mute your surroundings just like the phone clip as well. These are two items I always bring with me. When I'm also traveling, I also have with me a kit, a dry aid kit, which I've talked to before in other videos. When you travel to climates that is humid, climates that are very wet, that's where you can put your hearing device or your Bajas into the dry aid kit at the end of each night. Allow the equipment to dry so it can function as properly as it could. These are two items I'll always bring with me when I'm traveling. What are your suggestions? What do you bring when you travel? Let me know down in the comment section below. No ears, no fear. Until next time, goodbye.